today I'm going to show you how I installed the light bar that you currently see sitting on top of my G35. And let's get started on how I did it. So we'll start with removing the covers. You just use a credit or debit card, works perfect. Be very gentle and these pop right out. The centerpiece just pulls right out too. After you've done that, you can get a flat head uh, gently pry that piece out. There are two connectors. Make sure to disconnect both of them. Going to the visor spot, just move that and uh, that'll fall right out. Remove the Phillips head screws that hold the visor in on both sides. After you've completed that, you'll remove the connector. Then twist these to get them out. Remove the side pillar. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it takes a little effort. Um, then this piece just pops down. All right, now that we got this stuff done on the inside, we'll take the light bar, put it on top, and mark all the holes. Make sure that everything's lining up where you want it to. Take a paint pen. Um, black's preferred on this since there's black right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and mark the spot. That way we know where to drill the holes. Obviously, we'll be doing this on both sides. Now that you have the hole marked where you need to drill, we'll be using a quarter inch drill bit, uh, just drilling straight through. Then afterwards, we'll be putting the mounting hardware that came with on there. And don't worry guys, it will not leak water through this spot because we are going to be using hot glue and putting the mounting hardware that it came with and it will not leak. Now that we got the hole drilled, there is some exposed metal in this area. You're gonna wanna make sure to cover that up so it doesn't rust. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the ultra flat black, which I used in this spot already. Um, then we will put the hot glue around it, just like I'm doing right here. After the hot glue goes on, we put the rubber mounting hardware that it came with that doesn't scratch it up. We put the bolt in. I actually used an extra long Honda bolt for this because I needed some extra length and then put a nut on the other side. Now just repeat the same process that we did on the driver's side onto the passenger side. Make sure to tighten it down pretty good and then drill a hole for the wiring. And on this one I actually just used an old wiring harness, a piece of plastic that wires ran through. It fit in the hole perfectly so I was able to make sure it has a nice tight seal. Um, ended up just pushing the wires through like this and feeding them into the inside. Then electrical taping that little gap that's left over. Then hot gluing around it just to make sure that it's a really nice waterproof seal. Went on the inside and made sure to hot glue around that as well. After I was done doing that I ended up tying the wiring into the harness that was provided, then soldered the connections just to make sure that they're nice and solid, electrical taped them and put them up out of the way. Now I go here and put it all back through and run it down the pillar to hide it and tuck it all up out of the way. And basically at this point you're just reassembling everything the way you took it out, but this time you're adding the wiring and hiding it and making sure it's not visible because you don't want a tacky looking interior with wires hanging out everywhere. All right, so this is the wiring that was provided. It's really nice. Has a relay already attached to it right here. Um, just mounted out of the way. Has an inline fuse. I had to cut this red wire and extend it to be able to run it up through the firewall to get to the battery, but I'll show you the install. So I took the 10 millimeter nut off right here that I have other ground wires running to. Ended up cleaning those ground wires up and tying them into that ground wire so it's a much cleaner look and uh, put the nut back on that's a really good ground it's a pretty solid ground has lots of exposed metal right here you can see I'm just tucking it up out of the way and this is the grommet on the firewall just pulling the wire up through that so that I can hide it I'm gonna end up electrical taping it but as you can see it's blue right now find the spot on the positive battery post connect it to the spot on the battery post. Now once you've connected it to the battery post, you should have a pretty clean looking engine bay. Uh, no wires really exposed. Now for the mounting, wipe the area off with some rubbing alcohol, peel the little thing off the sticky pad, 
uh, mount it where you want it. I could have chose a better location. I'm probably going to move this, but uh, it's pretty decent location right now. Hide the wires, connect it, make sure it works before putting it all together and hiding all the wires. Once you get the wires hid, um, this is what it should look like. Make sure that it functions on and off. Last step really is to just tighten the crap out of these Allen bolts. I like to use the Allen keys because it makes it harder to steal them. Here it is. We're going to see how bright it really is during the day, which is pretty bright. Um, you can see it on the house pretty well and it's broad daylight out. It works pretty good. So the real test is to see how it looks at night. you can definitely tell it's much brighter um, but definitely be staying tuned I have video of me going off-roading coming soon uh, we found a place we just have to get a hold of the game warden and get permission but should be pretty easy to do so definitely stay tuned hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and drop me a comment and you guys have a blessed day